Carlon Gittens, activities coordinator at the museum, stated that they have acknowledged that in other countries the revolution is studied intensely in contrast to what one can obtain in Grenada. He believes building this exhibit is a great medium for the sensitization of the topic. Um, over the years, uh, we have been trying to enhance our revolution exhibit and this, we hope, is a way to jumpstart that whole process um, in terms of persons who would have stuff on the revolution if they can now uh, bring it into the museum so that we can put it on display. The book will be on display at the current exhibit. Mr. Gittens noted that information on the subject is quite hard to obtain and the museum is open to any donations or loans help us to, to educate the younger generation because there's a younger generation that is coming up that knows little about what the Grenada Revolution is. Some people think it's 100, 150 years ago, not in 1983. So it's just making the younger generation and the younger population aware of what was going on. And it's not really about finding out um, whether it was right, whether it was wrong. Um, it was, it's more about understanding the history of, of it and also helping persons to be aware of what would have went on. The museum is also planning to engage in the construction of other exhibits around different periods of the year, such as carnival exhibits. Well, in terms of that, um, based on the amount of information that we receive, um, we are engaging persons to see if we can do some documentary films on, on it, um, from a Grenadian perspective, that is, and also um, Anything else along that line in terms of audiovisual, um, in terms of uh, um, allowing persons to, um, based on the information that we would get, to probably even create a movie about what, what went on from a Grenadian perspective. Brandon Brathwaite, GBN News.